Okay guys, we are going to make one of my favorite fall foods or really any time of the food. We're gonna make chicken pot pie, semi-homemade, but in a quick version for when you have a lot that you gotta do and you gotta get dinner on the table. So I put a couple of chicken breasts at the Ninja, as you can see, and I'm gonna cut those up really nice and, and everything. And you see my other uh, ingredients that I got from Walmart. This is not a Walmart sponsored video but I ended up getting some cream of mushroom. It could be cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. I already got some white uh, potatoes and um, I put mushrooms. I put some uh, green onions in here um, along with uh, a little bit of chicken broth, organic chicken broth. And um, put the potatoes in and let everything simmer. So sit back and watch how I do this, okay? Now, what you're about to see me do is add a frozen bag of peas and carrots. I really only needed one bag. Um, as you can see, I'm only going to put one bag in here. So we have uh, chopped up um, green onions, uh, diced potatoes. Um, I added some mushrooms along with some peas and carrots and along with the cream of chicken uh, soup. And I'm going to stir this and let everything simmer real good. I did drain... Uh, the potatoes the ju the juice that was on the potatoes and i did a little slight uh rinsing off uh, while they were in the can and drained that water off also some people choose not to drain but i do so as you're going to see as time goes by i'm going to go ahead and mix this up really good and i'm adding right here the uh cream of chicken to it um depending on how many uh chicken pot pies you're gonna make this actually made two chicken pot pies and then i later on i put the additional up so that i can actually do what i call drop biscuits where i can just heat the chicken pot pie up and then just uh pour it over some biscuits so just make sure you stir everything in really well you're gonna see me season it with a little bit of kosher salt um in, in actuality after this was mixed up and everything and I you know it was the perfect amount of salt it wasn't salty it wasn't it was just right so sit back and let's see what else we're gonna do Okay guys, I have two Marie Callender deep dish pastry pie shells that I caught on sale from um, Walmart. Now you can either use the pie shells and then just get the dough that you roll out on top or you can uh, use the same dough that you're going to put on top of the pie shells and use a casserole dish and put those inside of those. I believe I do have a vlog of where I did make an earlier vlog that I made about a year or so ago of me making a uh, the chicken pie pie but using the casserole dish method um after everything has simmered down and see how nice and thick that is you're gonna go ahead and i ended up having to do this scoop uh in a lift and put in a pie shell but what i also had to end up doing too is i had to end up moving one of the pie shells so i can make sure don't nothing spill up and out um we 
ended up I ended up making like I said two pot pies plus I had some additional filling that I used to make what I call um, the chicken pot pie drop biscuits um, I did not uh, I did not vlog it um, because I already figured I gave you the chicken pot pie um, that you know was used with making the ninja along with uh, I call this a semi homemade chicken pot pie now once everything is done like I said you go ahead and get your regular pie crust um, this you can use Pillsbury you can use Walmart brand Target brand Publix brand it does not matter you're going to go ahead and put that once you feel that pie crust you're going to put that on top and squeeze the sides now some people choose to put an eggshell batter or uh, rubber eggshell batter on top of it that is something that I did not do um, I'm going to take a pizza cutter or a nice little knife you'll see later in a minute and I'm going to cut uh, the uh, some slits inside it so that the, that the pie pie can breathe okay so sit back and let's see what else we did here Okay, you guys, so this is how it looks when it comes out the oven. Doesn't that look good? And like I said, I made two of these. I set one of them to the side. Um, we were going to only have that one for dinner. And plus, this was also the same night that I did the spice cake uh, vlog. So actually, this is the third vlog. Remember I told y'all when I showed the coffee bar to y'all that uh, I was doing three vlogs in one, but this is number three. So if you haven't gone back and looked at the spice, the spice cake, made in the ninja or my coffee bar fall 2021 reveal y'all suggest you go back and look at that now look how flaky this was and everything and I, it was just hot it was still hot out the oven but trust and believe my two children were waiting on the side and they were waiting to get their dinner um and so i went on and i just started uh plating or putting it in the bones and everything and i'm gonna let you see the texture and everything so sit back and watch
Um, I have other ways that I know how to make my chicken pot pies and everything, but I am going to go ahead and uh, finish watching some TV and do this, and I'll see y'all next time. Remember, if didn't nobody tell you they love you, me, I'm just Nene. I'm going to tell you that I love you. And, mm -hmm.